Business Growth Talks podcast is created and hosted by Mark Haywood. In this show, we talk about how to grow a business in the growth stage. The growth stage is often marked by rapid developments, increased revenue, and an escalating customer base. In each episode, we talk to entrepreneurs and business owners who have grown businesses and we cover topics like scaling processes, market expansion, financial management, human resource and talent development, and customer retention. If you are looking for actionable advice, tips, and techniques on how to grow, run and build your business, this is the podcast for you. Welcome to Business Growth Talk Show. Today, we're going to do a deep dive into Ryan Reynolds and think about the aspects of him, whether it's in acting, entrepreneurship, a football owner. Um, it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be a humorous sort of take on Ryan Reynolds. So Ryan Reynolds is often sometimes called as he's quite like a Swiss army knife of entertainment and business. So let's talk about him as an actor. Ryan Reynolds isn't just an actor. He's like one of the friends who's good at everything and still managed to be likable. He's Deadpool in the movies. And let's be honest, probably in real life too. He's the kind of guy who would make you laugh just by raising an eyebrow. And if there's an Olympic event for sarcasm, he would have won gold medals. Ryan Reynolds isn't just an actor. He's like walking, talking charm potion with a side of snark. His range goes from Van Wilder party liaison, where he basically plays a cool college senior we all wish we had as a friend, to Deadpool, where he's essentially a red-suited, sword-wielding, wisecracking bundle of anti-hero awesomeness. It, it's like he took a look at the traditional superheroes, laughed, and said, let's show you what how it can really be done plus have you seen him in proposal the man can dance around like a fire chanting to little john and still make it look cool second area i want to focus in on is that he's a football club owner a soccer club owner he decided to own a football club but because it sounded fun he bought a stake in wrexham afc a team most of us haven't heard of and suddenly he's in the global map that that's the ryan reynolds magic It's like buying a vintage car and finding it can fly. Wrexham went on to become the who's that in football. Oh, that's Ryan Reynolds' team. Then there's Reynolds, the football club owner. He bought Wrexham and suddenly the Welsh football club is getting more Hollywood attention than the Oscars. It's like Cinderella got a fairy godmother in the form of a Canadian actor. The club wasn't just playing in the National League. They were playing in Ryan Reynolds' league. Fans probably expected Deadpool to do halftime shows and thought his team would be sponsored by Aviation Gin. Uh, Spoiler, they weren't, but imagine the possibilities. He's also an amazing entrepreneur. Uh, Ryan Reynolds does does not just stop at movies and sports. He deep dived into business with a graceful swan and a cunning fox. First, there was aviation gin. He didn't just make gin. He made it cool. It's like when gin went to a party and the one was telling the best stories. And then there's also Mint Mobile. He took a mobile company and turned it into the, the Deadpool of wireless services. Irreverent, loved by many and surprisingly effective. Now, let's think about him. So he, as I said, Aviation Jim, he made it into a household name, making the gin so cool that even vodka was jealous. It's been a whispered secret, nothing to juniper berries, viola and the top shell gin. uh, Obviously, we talked about Mint Mobile, where he took wireless services and made it to look like a secret cool kids club with the password Deadpool. But it's affordable, efficient, and it's got Ryan Reynolds charm all over it. What would you want from a phone service? But we certainly do not stop there. Ryan Reynolds is a devoted husband as well. He's married to Blake Lively, who's making them one of the Hollywood's most beloved power couples. It's like Barbie and Ken were real, except they were both hilariously sarcastic and probably eat more pizza. Their relationship is like a series of well-crafted tweets to come to life. They met on the set set of Green Lantern, a movie more famous for being the Cupid in their relationship than its box office success. Uh, Their marriage is like a masterclass in trolling. It's hilarious. Birthdays, holidays, you name it. These two are on every occasion as an opportunity to lovingly roast each other on social media. If comedy is the language of love, Ryan and Blake are basically speaking Shakespeare. They're the kind of couple that you would sneak whoopee cushions onto the red carpet and blame it on each other. He's also a father of three, 
which means that he uh, has played the unconventional superhero to being a real life super dad. Imagine Deadpool doing school runs and packing lunch lunch boxes. It's probably not too far from reality in the Reynolds household. Lastly, I want to talk about his uh, difficulty or lack of success within uh, the wars. So it's curious that Ryan Reynolds in this elusive relationship with major award winners like the Oscars. It's an interesting juxtaposition. A mega, super successful actor in blockbuster films, yet the Academy Awards seem to play hard to get. Imagine if the Oscars were at the high school prom. Brian Reynolds would be the cool, funny guy who eventually, who everyone assumes to be prom king. But however, he never is. Here's, but here's, he's a great time. He has plenty of life from the party when it comes to handing out crowns. Like, oh, no, thanks. I'm just going to have a dance. Reynolds has starred in some successful hits like the Deadpool, The Proposal, Detective Pikachu. Yes, that's a big deal, even if you're not a Pokemon fan. His films range from big blockbusters and and also he's adored by fans across the world with his charm and wit. But when Oscar season rolls around, Ryan's like the guy who won't get the memo about the dress code and shows up in a Hawaiian shirt. It's almost as if the unspoken rule in Hollywood, if you're too good at making people laugh or you spend too much time in superhero costumes... The Oscar committee gets amnesia about his existence. Ryan Reynolds is in Deadpool. It's a bit of a chef making a gourmet burger. Everyone loves it, but the Michelin stars are like, but it's not It's, it's not a, a, a nice steak. But here's the thing. Ryan Reynolds doesn't seem to sweat it. He's too busy being Ryan Reynolds, making hit movies, running businesses, being a family man, and just generally winning at life. Oscars are not the his trophy shelf is probably pretty much full with superhero masks, gin bottles, and even more, a miniature soccer field. So what's his success? Maybe it's his charm. Maybe it's his wit. Or maybe it's just because it's that he's actually Deadpool in disguise using his superhero powers for business and entertainment. Whatever it is, Ryan Reynolds isn't just winning at life. He's creating a whole new game. So he has been a blockbuster hit uh, actor, an entrepreneurial genius, and, and an expert in the boardroom. There really is nothing that Ryan Reynolds can't do. So hopefully you've enjoyed that deep dive into Ryan Reynolds, the aspects. It's like a profile of Ryan Reynolds and the aspects that he has done in his business life, in his acting life, in uh, as owner of a football club. It's really interesting to think about these different aspects of his life. He's one of those that's not a one-trick pony. He has been able to meld into different industries and do different things successfully importantly everything he does he seems to turn to gold and i did have a play on him about the oscars and awards he doesn't get them as i said it's not that he's not a great actor he just doesn't go for what the oscars are looking for in programs and to be honest I don't think he cares very much. I think he would love to have an Oscar, but I don't think he cares. He's having fun. He's got a lovely wife and kids. And really, he ha- he seems to have it all. So if you are enjoying this content, these profiles on, on famous people, are, then please do give it a thumbs up. Any comments below on anyone else you'd like me to profile and think about and make it make it something interesting to talk about on the show. And equally, please do hit the subscribe button. It really means so much to me. We really want to boost the subscriptions to get it, get these sorts of content to the widest audience. And don't forget on Monday, the next interview release will be. So thank you very much for your time and on to the next one. Thank you for listening to Business Growth Talks. This podcast is released every Monday, so don't miss an episode by subscribing to all podcast platforms, including Apple and Spotify. Have a great day.